Hi everyone, welcome to Jira How To video series where we answer the most commonly asked questions about Jira. I'm Nikki from Jexo and in this video we are going to have a look on how you can create filter in Jira. Creating and saving your filters in Jira is a great way how to get the right issues in front of you to create the reports that you need. So if you would like to create your filter in Jira, you can go here to filters and then view all filters. And in this view, you can find all the filters that you can use in your Jira instance. Either they were created by default or someone else already created them and shared them with you. But you can also create your own filter. So to create your own filter, you click here on create filter button and you're taken to the Jira search. Now here, there are two options how we can go about searching for specific issues. So either you can use this simple view where you can just select the filters from these drop downs. So for example, if I would like to get all the bugs that are assigned to myself, then I can get a view like this just by using these drop downs. And there's also more filters. So you can filter by any field that you have in your Jira. But if you would like to do a little bit more advanced query, you can switch to JQL and you can use the Jira query language in order to write your query. There is a help over here, which takes you to the documentation if you would like to explore the Jira query language a little bit further. Usually the majority of use cases you will be able to do with the simple filters and you can always switch to JQL to advance them a little bit further. Now, when I created my filter, I can save it just by clicking on the save button on top and you need to give your filter a name. So let's say that this one is all bugs assigned to Nikki. And just like that, I created this filter. You can have a look at the details and edit the permissions. So usually the filters that you create are only visible by you, but you can edit the permissions and give access, for example, to everyone in the organization or just in some project and so on. And then you can find your filter here in the all filters. You can also start it so you can always find it on the top. If you would need to edit your already existing filter, you just click on the filter itself, which takes you again to the Jira search. And if you do any changes to it, then you can click here on the save button and it will save the changes to that filter. And that's about it. I hope that you learn how you can create filter in Jira and save it. If you did like the video, make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.